for me too and I'm back with another recipe. So I did the poll on my community tab and y'all said y'all would like to see the crab dressing. So here we go. You start off with the whole trinity and you season your season with season. Shout out to Super. Yay. So we got that going on. In the butter, you know, that's what I use. On top of my garlic, my onion. Well, really, that's just the onion, a bell pepper, and a celery. I did use celery, and uh, we saute that down first. Because I don't want my garlic to get too, too soft just yet. So, I'm going to put that in in the next clip. After I saute my sausage. So, we're going to put the sausage in there and get them a little brown. Not too brown. You know, we don't want to cook it too, too much. But we got to get them cooking, get that flavor coming out of that sausage. So, that's what I'm doing right here in this cup. Y'all see the season is looking nice and soft. It's getting a little see-through, a little translucent or whatever. That is the base of your... Um, <laughs> that's the base of the dressing. So now I'm adding in green onion, chopped parsley, and minced garlic, all fresh. I chopped all this myself before I recorded. So we letting that go in there because now it's just getting a little moisture. You know, it's getting a little flavor. It's not necessarily sauteing or getting too, too um, soft. So it doesn't like dissolve away because it can at that point it's smelling good like you could just eat that but uh so this particular day i did not have any uh breadcrumbs so you see i got my daughter working putting mm -hmm. her to work and uh i got her crushing of these croutons now what made me think of that i don't know but it just gave me very nice breadcrumb flavor in my mind before i say to this so I had her crush up the croutons and made it into breadcrumbs. And we're going to see how they work out in the next clip. But right here, I'm adding in my crab meat. This is how you get the crab dressing. You got to have some nice lump crab meat fresh out of the air tight seal container, y'all. Or you can get your own crabs, boil them, pick them, and do all that. I ain't never did it personally. <laughs> But you could try it. I don't suggest the little can like I used in that other video for the pasta. That is kind of soft. You do want to use this particular crab meat, the lump crab meat, um, from your local store. So, this works really well. I only use one can because it was only me eating it for the most part. My family is not very interested in crab dressing. My old man here eat some and then you know it's just uh that's it for him. But me personally I go back, you know, and eat that by itself and be full. So that's why I only use one can. You could use two or three, depending on how many people you're trying to feed. And then everything goes up on a recipe scale, size-wise. I didn't do no measurements. I just season and throw things in and chop things up until my ancestors sent me that's enough. So, right here, y'all see me adding some fresh shrimps. I did season my shrimps just a little. Just, just a little. Rotated some things around, you know, mix everything in. I got my crab meat, my sausage, my holy trinity, my last season, and we're gonna let they cook. Shrimp don't take much to cook, y'all already know that. So, we're gonna let this do what it do, and then we about to go to the next clip of how we get it to thicken because that's the next thing you do want it to get a little thick so it could be like a casserole type texture and not more of this just like a salad looking texture so that's why we have the breadcrumbs or in my case the um croutons i did make macaronis that night just some velveta so it came out good together. 
So now y'all can see how the, the shrimps done got their little color, the orange, you know, and uh, they ready for the bread crumbs or crouton crumbs, which is bread crumbs, basically, right? Because croutons is big bread season, just like bread crumbs. So that's a hack. I made that. P, P made. P made that. Hack right there. <laughs> the bread crumb crouton. And yo, it was so good. Like, look how it suck up that moisture. It really held my food together. It really... It was it was just like it was perfect. Okay. So yes, I'm adding some water. Bread crumbs are very, very dry. And when you add the water, it just gives it like a different type of moisture than just the all in the butter. So I did take the water from my pasta because it's good to use like pasta water for certain things when you're cooking. Just like uh, my mom, she would boil her um, shrimp peelings for the holidays. And she used that water for a lot of stuff. She adds that, it's like a broth. So basically you're using uh, either shrimp broth water or pasta broth water. Or you can just use plain water, but this is, it gives it a different flavor. And then the water is hot, so it really does work out well. Now y'all can see how it's getting a nice consistency. It looks like it's ready to bake and turn into a dressing. That blew my mind. I ain't gonna lie. Them croutons blew my mind. So, uh... I got my glass pan. You can use whatever kind of pan you want to use. And here I am just sliding, you know, sliding everything out of this nice good old pan I got from Walmart. <laughs> and that is the finished product, y'all. Beautiful. I did add some croutons on top. Bread crumbs, croutons with a little uh, paprika. I'm sorry, cayenne pepper. That's my mac and cheese. Nice and creamy. Little Velveeta box or whatever. <laughs> and that's how it look. Oh, yo. Get you some. Get. <laughs> y'all got to fix this. I'm dropping this today on a Saturday so y'all can have it for Sunday. I did that for y'all specially. It's early in the morning. I'm about to drop it right now. Y'all go to the store and get all y'all ingredients. And shout me out. Go pull shout picture, shout me out. Yeah, thanks for watching.